there's a storm in the Atlantic. It's uh, not threatening Texas right now. It would have to take a, some interesting turns away from its planned path to get here, but it definitely uh, brings up some reminders of some storms we've been through and some problems we had, most notably with fuel, gasoline. Um, we got a generator to run a window unit AC in case our electric goes out, and gas won't be available for a week or so. So uh, one gallon of gas just isn't going to cut it. Um, I'm going to need a couple of five gallon containers. Let me show you the problem. Due to EPA regulations, there's no vent on this can, and I'm going to have to use both hands, but uh, the vent is included in the spout, and it doesn't really work. Let me show you. And there you go. There's the uh, vent, the spout vent. It comes up into the base here, and vents back up here but with the gas coming down this way it just doesn't allow it to vent they really don't work there's a better way to do this your meant to convert these cans back to the old style spout and vent arrangement so I ordered a three pack of cool products spout king replacement spouts I've already installed two they come with A new spout and that spout comes with a cap a cap to go over the spout end which I already put on and then your regular spout cap in two sizes. This is easier to do when I'm doing it two-handed. Um, so, let me get that ring off of this can first. Okay, I had to double check. Uh, the yellow caps that come in the kit are the coarse thread. The black ones are the fine thread. This is a different brand from the other two that I've already done. The other two are Blitz. This one is a scepter. So now all i got to do is drill a half inch hole right there, shove the vent in and cap it off and I'm done. Okay, I'm using a spade bit and I want it over here where the flat is. Simple as that. Okay, while I still have one of these cans left to do, I just wanted to show you there's three of them done. The fine thread are the Blitz, and they've got the uh, black caps. Coarse thread is the Scepter, and it has the yellow cap. <clears throat> now, these gas cans were purchased as replacements for cans that were stolen from me during Hurricane Ike. Um, they were in the back of my truck, they were cabled down, and somebody cut the cable and took off with them when we were getting supplies. Not exactly the nicest thing to do, but now we know if we have gasoline with us, and we're in an emergency situation with that, like that. Uh, we do not leave it unattended, and we don't go anywhere near a Walmart. So, if you've ever tried to use one of those self-venting can spouts, um, I know they were mandated by the Environmental Protection Agency, but they do anything but protect the environment. 
they the spouts are never long enough to reach down into a uh, fuel filler on anything but a lawnmower. Um, if you're trying to fuel up a car, you're going to need to just, well, pop the cap entirely off, use a long funnel, and uh, let the vapors go where they will. Uh, it's a really bad idea. And uh, going back to the traditional style, at least somewhat controls the vapor release, and you're a lot less likely to have spillage. So whoever at the EPA came up with this, you know, these uh, self-venting mandates really, really needs to <clears throat> reconsider what they did. This is actually one of those situations where they made the problem worse rather than better. Um, I have one more of these to fix, and then uh, I'm done. Um, they're good to go. I really don't think I'm going to go through more than two gallons of gasoline a day with the generator. So, uh, really the three that I've got now should be more than enough. Just, uh, make sure I've got the car filled up and, uh, make sure these are filled up and, uh, come whatever, I'm good. All right. Well, hopefully this helps someone out. Thanks. If you like my videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go back into the old catalog by clicking my channel and then clicking on the videos link. Lots of decent stuff back there you may be interested in. And like I always say to you folks, be busy, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.